Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Space Engine video. Today we're going to be checking out the Solar System Extra mod, which adds four new hypothetical planets for us to explore. So we're here at the sun, and if we zoom out a little bit, we can find our first new planet, which is going to be Boreas, a hypothetical fifth gas giant in our system. Oh wow. It's very bright and very yellow. If we look over at the information here, we can see there's three moons and one with life on it. So let's scroll out. First moon, frigid airless micro aquaria with life. And we have subglacial life on this moon, meaning that the life would be inside the glaciers of this moon. Very interesting formations here. It almost kind of looks like brush rugs on the surface. Uh, we can go ahead and land. All right, here we are. I don't know why it's so bright here, considering how far away we are. There's the sun, there. And if we move on to the right spot, we can have a nice little view of the gas giant in the sky. Because it has three moons, but I'm only seeing one. Oh, oh, there's one. These little asteroids uh, have orbital lines for some reason. But here is the second one. Boreas wants this is the first moon. It's, um, uh, an asteroid moon. You can see the, uh, you can actually see the color of the gas giant uh, kind of reflecting off of the nighttime side here. Um, I don't know why it's so bright. Might be a problem with my shader mod. <laughs> uh, so the nighttime side here is very, very bright because all the lights reflecting off of uh, the gas giant above us. And let's see if we can find ourselves the third moon okay, well i can assure you i looked i can't find it wherever it is it must be very small and uh for some reason these smaller asteroids do not have um orbital lines now our next planet is planet x which is right up here with an extremely elliptical orbit around the sun here it is looks like a very volcanic planet and there's the sun Right there. Oh, that's actually not the sun. That's the sun. Right there. So very, very dark out here. Um, but it looks like all of these volcanoes are doing a good job of lighting the planet up. I can go ahead and uh, try and land on one. Yeah, it's, it's extremely dark. Okay, and up next, we have Nemesis, which is a dark brown dwarf star oh here it is in the description it says that this is the hypothetical star that uh planet x actually orbits around except planet x is kind of orbiting the sun not too sure what that's about okay actually it looks like the description was wrong because this here is actually the fifth gas giant diana and this has a number of moons for us to look at and these colors are really awesome, and look at this giant ring system. Oh, it's kind of bugging out a little bit. Uh, that's, that's fine. All right, here's moon number one. Pretty standard looking moon, but I bet on the night side, you get a very nice view of the gas giant. Yep. Look at that. Oh, I, I don't know why. There's like an earthquake happening. And the second and last moon here. Looks pretty similar to our moon, actually. Also kind of has that um, breaststroke pattern. So yeah, this... Uh, so yeah, Boreas is actually a planet. I think they made a little typo in the description. Um, it actually just has a very, very thick cloud layer. Um, or atmosphere. Yeah, so... Very, very reflective uh, surface, even without the clouds. So yeah, the description uh, confused this with Diana... Um, they didn't even mention Diana in the description. Apologies for the confusion there. But that's going to do it for today's Space Engine episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any suggestions for things I should do next in Space Engine or any other games, make sure to write a comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next episode.